This lesson, we're going to learn about using proportions and ratios to solve for scale models. Scale is a ratio that compares scale height to actual height. If you're going to build a house you and you need to have some plans, well, you're obviously not going to draw life-size plans because then your piece of paper would be as big as your house. So you have to have a piece of paper that's big enough and you have to say it's a scale so that you can have some idea that this size is similar to that size. So here is a living room, for instance, if you look here. And obviously that would be a very small living room on this piece of paper if that was actual size. So we're going to say that there is, this is the scale one centimeter every one centimeter equals two and a half feet and this is right here each of these are one centimeter square so this is one centimeter that's one centimeter that's one square centimeter that's one centimeter and it's the shape of a square so that is a square centimeter right there this one so one of these centimeters this part right here is equal to two and a half feet this piece is equal to two and a half feet this length this little line right here is equal to two and a half feet this little line is two and a half feet. This little line is two. So if you add all those up, you can find out how many centimeters that is. One, two, three, four, five centimeters. And then times the two and a half feet, you can find that out how long that is. And so we're going to use this information that the scale of one centimeter to two and a half feet, by the way, notice that is a unit rate. It is set as one. So feet to centimeters, two and a half to one. So this is comparing scale height or scale size, not just height, but it costs to be length and width, uh, scale size to actual size. Um, so let's take a look at this. What is the actual length of the living room? So this is our length right here. So we have this square. Let me just draw it out, make sure it's clear what we're talking about here. I'm not drawing very straight lines here. But the, this here is the living room. So we want to know the length. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 centimeters as the length of the living room. And we have a scale of one centimeter equals two and a half feet. So let's see, let's try this out. We're comparing feet to centimeters. And our scale, our unit rate is 2.5 to 1. And we're saying 8 centimeters. So the 8, since it's centimeters and since it's on the scale instead of the actual, is there and so then we have to solve this we can use a number of ways to do this we can say oh well I know how to turn 1 into 8 and I can multiply both of these by 8 1 times 8 is 8 so 2.5 times 8 well let's find out 2.5 times 8 5 times 8 is 40 2 times 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20. We have one decimal place here, so the answer here is 20. So it is the, this actual length is 20 feet. So 8 centimeters equals 20 feet. Now they're saying, what are the dimensions of the living room? Dimensions. Hmm. I wonder how many of you are going to have a trouble with the word dimensions. Dimensions means the length and the width. And it says the dimensions of the dining room. So here's one side of the dining room. Here's the other side of the dining room. Here's the other side of the dining room. And here's the other side of the dining room. So let's find out what this, the length is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it is 6 centimeters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 centimeters. So we have two different, uh, different parts of it here. So we, let's do the length and do the width. 
So let's take a look at that. Remember our scale is two and a half to one and we're comparing feet to centimeters. So let's write that down. We're comparing feet to centimeters and our scale is 2.5 to 1, 2.5 feet to 1 centimeter. Now, we are saying that this right here, the length, is equal to 6 centimeters. And on the living room, the width is equal to 4 centimeters. And we can use here our knowledge of how to turn 1 into 6 with a magic 1. 1 times 6. 1 times 6 is 6. So 2.5 times 6. Let's see. I'll show you one more time how to multiply with decimals. 2.5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Don't forget that decimal there. So it's 15. So this length right here is 15 feet. And then how do I turn 1 into 4? I multiply times 4 over 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 2.5 times 4. 2.5 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. Don't forget our decimal. So our answer here is 10. So this side right here, the 4 centimeters, is 10 feet. And you can do the same thing here with the dimensions of the kitchen and so on.